Hanak, Enoch, 13. Then Hanak, passing on, said to Azazel, You shall not obtain peace. A great sentence is gone forth against you. He shall bind you. Neither shall relief, mercy, and supplication be yours on account of the oppression which you have taught and on account of every act of blasphemy, tyranny, and sin which you have discovered to the children of men. Then, departing from him, I spoke to them all together, and they all became terrified and trembled, beseeching me to write for them a memorial of supplication, that they might obtain forgiveness, and that I might make the memorial of their prayer ascend up before the Elohim of heaven, because they could not themselves thenceforwards address him, nor raise up their eyes to heaven on account of the disgraceful offense for which they were judged. Then I wrote a memorial of their prayer and supplications for their ruachata. Rather, ruachot, for everything which they had done. And for the subject of their entreaty, that they might obtain a remission and rest. Proceeding on, I continued over the waters of Dan, which is on the right to the west of Kreman, reading the memorial of their prayer until I fell asleep. And behold, a dream came to me, and visions appeared above me. I fell down and saw a vision of punishment that I might relate, relate it to the sons of heaven and reprove them. When I awoke, I went to them. All being collected together, stood weeping in Ubel Se'ya'el, which is situated between Lebanos and Senesser, with their faces veiled. I related in their presence all the visions which, which I had seen and my dream and began to utter these words of righteousness, reproving the watchers of heaven.